What's up, everybody? This is my bike trainee, better known as Dr. Bike Frankenstein. Had to make a change in the name. Now, this is Makai uh, climbing um, on his 2020 Huffy Oxide. Um, and he did a good job. Uh, he doesn't usually make it. This part of this here gives him a problem. Again, he pretty much made it to the top. He could have made it all the way up if he had a, you know, stood up and pushed through. Um, but his first time riding, so no worries. He's going to learn. He's going to do better uh, and get better and improve. Um, but yeah, Huffy Oxide. Uh, and I'll give you guys a synopsis to a why reasoning why I did change um, my name. I mean, always you might hear me say um, MTB Trainee. Um, also known as, or better known as, uh, Bike Dr. Frankenstein. That's the name. Now, it's going to stick, uh, reasoning being, um, that it's very really hard to search MTB Trainee. So when you search MTB Trainee because of search engines and all the constraints that goes with searching, it brings up MTB Trainee, which brings up a lot of MTB, mo well, I say mountain biking videos, um, that help people, you know, learn and get better. Uh, so that's why I did change the name. All right. So this is, uh, McKay and I having a good time, uh, riding. Uh, he's doing very well. His confidence, um, level I see is being built. Um, he is working on, you know, standing up more, um, and his comfortability with the, with the, uh, with the gears, you know, he has a trigger shifter instead of twist shifters now. Those twist shifters are really hard. Um, at least this now gives him a way where he can shift his own gears and uh, keep going uh, without having to stop and me help him shift the gears. There's me standing up. I try to get him to learn how to stand up while he's riding because, uh, of course, the more you stand up while you're riding, the smoother your ride is, faster you can go better your corner, more aggressive your riding will be. So it does give you a uh, a lot of benefits when you stand up. And you don't always have to stand up, of course. You know, there's times where you got to take a break, you sit down, and no worries about that. Uh, on this one here, let's see, where are we at? Oh, he's taking a break now. He, uh, he misshipped his gear. Um... And I told him, hey, don't push that thing up there. Go ahead and shift your gear the right way. Put it in the right gear, which he did. Got up, put it in the right gear. And um, went ahead and uh, pedaled on on through it. Um, and there's a couple of times where, you know, I might have been looking at my phone. And because he's learning how to use his gears now, uh, that I had to actually... Um, catch him. Like I looked out of my phone on my handlebar and doing something, the message will come in from work or wherever it may come from and I'll be checking that and next thing I know he's uh he's gone. And then I find myself trying to catch up. This here might be one of those instances. Yeah, because I don't see him in, he's nowhere in sight. And he just he's gone. He's he's left me. So he's, his, his time is increased. His speed is increased because, like I said, he has the ability to use those gears um, now. So that's a, a added plus. So I'm happy. Usually he doesn't make it up this one either, up this little tabletop. It's a hard time with that. Um, but no problem. Um, didn't have to stand up. Um, we always go the long way instead of the short way. I like to get as much exercise as we can. Um, you know, so... Uh, this right here is a section. Um, I don't know how it got me jumping first. But anyway, um, this is a section that he rolls over that most people don't roll over. Uh, they usually go to the left, which you're looking at this angle on the left side. But if you were coming around the track, it would be the right. Um, there's a hump there. Um, and most people go around the hump. Not over, they so they go the easy way. That's why I like this um, track though, because it gives you options. So it's a beginner trail, but it has options for intermediate and advanced riders that they can enjoy also. And you get some good speed on it. Um, there, uh, here is this is kind of, that was me kind of showing um, the height of it. 
here's me walking it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I, had, I sped the video up just a little bit. Sorry about that because it was, it was real long. I didn't want to want to have you guys watching a 20 minute video of uh, you know me talking. Um, that's you know it's like a you know dry eye, clear eye commercial, right? For 20 minutes. All right. Um, so um, here, uh, let's say he's going over it. Oh, I'm jumping. I think I, that snippet was not supposed to be in that way. It was kind of backwards, but we'll. We'll go with it. Oh, getting um, more footage uh, here. This one here. Oh, this is me after um, the downhill. So the speed um, heel. Uh, I'm actually going up, back up. Um, you'll see later on. Um, this goes fast. And actually, I wouldn't have made it up here. I'm glad I do have this. I'm on. I'm on um, um, on the swim boundary, uh, Mr. Hope, and um, I'm riding back up the hill I just came down. It's a nice, it's, it's fast, it's speedy, it's enjoyable. I'll show you guys on my next video uh, when it's just me riding. I had a little bit of time to get a solo ride before uh, Makai got out of school. It was a great day. It was warm. I got out and uh, took a solo ride and uh, actually, what you guys will see, uh, spoiler alert, but it's some good footage and uh, I'll share it with you guys um, coming around this same corner. Um, the first part, I, uh, yeah, I lose it mm -hmm. and I take a nice, nice, nice spill, um, you know, some good footage. Yeah, right. That That's the area where I lost it at right there uh, on my video. But here we go around the jump. You come down. Come around and you pick up a lot of speed here. Um, it is fast rolling. Um, it's like the I call it like the halfway point, like half and half at the park, because um, pretty much the first part is you know for the most part it's downhill. Um, you know flat. I mean I won't say downhill, but I say flat. Um, so it's not a lot of uphill going and challenges. Uh, this is the downhill portion. Uh, this is Makai. If you see him in the background, he's coming down now. Um, he did that. This is him uh, doing some more climbing. His climbing improved vastly. His confidence level in riding uh, with this bike um, far exceeded uh, his last bike. Uh, he loves his last bike. Now, this is Makai going through the same thing. This should have been first, but somehow my editor just decided to skip around. He does not take this. Like When he comes around this corner, he's going to stop. Of course, I'm going to keep going. And ride it. It is a high speed thing. He doesn't feel comfortable. And I told him, I said, okay, if you don't feel comfortable with something, I don't, I'm not going to force you. Don't let anybody force you to do something that you don't feel comfortable with until you feel comfortable. Um, he's improving. Like usually he used to walk it down. Now this time he wrote it down. So his confidence level are improving. It's us going by the lake. I love that. It's just so serene and um, peaceful out here. Um, so like I said, overall, I mean, I love the bike. Uh, I'm going to do a fourth video just because I love the bike so much to give you guys a full out review of it. I'll go over the specs. Hopefully I can get those from Huffy um, exactly what it is. I know it's 50 millimeters in the front, 20 in the back for the suspension. Um, you know, I'll go all the gears, everything it has. So we'll try to go over the specs and everything. But I love this bike. If someone asks me, should they get this for their child? I'm giving a resounding yes. That's going to be my answer. Yes, you should. It's a great bright bike, great value, great price. Um, you can't beat it for the for the amount of money you spend. Um, yeah, I mean, you you get everything you need. Um, I would buy another one, um, definitely, in a heartbeat. Uh, he loves it. I enjoy it. Uh, the specs on it are good. There's a few um, downsides, um, but I'll go over all those in the next video. We'll give it a review and I'll talk about it uh, honestly and give my opinion um, on it and my biases and how I feel. But I'm going to let you guys know right now, I really like the bike. I mean, I really do. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you my honest um, points and then the good and the bad, you know, pros and cons on it, definitely. But, yeah, I say I say go for it. I mean, I two thumbs up for me uh, for the Huffy Oxide uh, 2020. Uh, Makai gave it two thumbs up after this ride. 
Um, I'll let you see some footage of that video uh, when I do the review. And I definitely like the page. Uh, subscribe. Thanks for joining me. And to my uh, subscribers that for the name change, hope I didn't offend anyone. Deuces.